This is Dr. Saad in front of you and today my topic is the functional dyspepsia. This is not that much important topic but it is clinically important. You may uh, see the patients in your ward uh, or you may uh, means interact with the patient with the functional dyspepsia. So that's why I thought to uh, means make a lecture on that. So functional dyspepsia is basically what is functional dyspepsia? Functional dyspepsia is the chronic dyspepsia with absence of organic cause so this is the functional dyspepsia now what is basically the cause you can say or what the pathophysiology of this disease basically the pathophysiology of this disease is not that much uh, understood and it may be it may be it may be due to the mucosal abnormality it may be due to the motility disorder in the patient so these are the basic causes or it may also be due to the psychiatric disorder so these are the causes of this functional dyspepsia now this is a very short topic how the patient will be presenting to you what are the clinical features of that patient patient may say that he has the abdominal fullness that is also satiety patient may have the nausea like features may have the bloating and this occur after meal means this all these features occur after meal so this is the clinical feature these are the clinical features of the patient now first of all what you have to do you have to rule out that if she is from female so you have to rule out the pregnancy important thing is that uh, the patient the clinical feature in the clinical feature the patient uh, the you can say the age of the patient is less than 40 years in this case means they are the young patients in, in this functional dyspepsia occur in the young patients and mostly they are the women in which this occur means the women are more effective in the functional dyspepsia now after that uh, you have to rule out the pregnancy in the female patient if the patient is coming to and she is female so you have to rule out the pregnancy then you have to rule out the alcohol use in alcohol use the patient may complain of the morning uh, means you can say dyspepsia morning nausea and he may feel uh, a feeling of a gag you can you have seen the gag reflex so that may occur or you can say that is called as a retching so this may occur in the alcoholic patients so you have to rule out this also so uh, this is basically the clinical feature of that patient now how you will investigate what you have to do the investigation basically this these patients they are diagnosed on the clinical features they are not uh, any investigation is not done just diagnosed for the on the investigations on the basis of the clinical features now important thing is that the patient is older patient and he is coming to you so there might be a suspicion of malignancy so in order to rule out that suspicion if in the older patient is coming to you so you have to carry out the endoscopy in order to rule that uh, means in order to rule out the suspicion of malignancy this is very important then we have that the patient also he may he must be checked for the h pylori infections must be checked in all the patient because in the 10 percent the patient patient may be complaining or may have the h pylori infections then you have done the endoscopy in the patients uh, older patients then you can also carry out the ultrasound uh, for the gallstones because in the rare cases ultrasound uh, may reveal the gallstones in these cases and that's why the dyspepsia may occur so these are the investigation basically endoscopy is also done in order to rule out the mucosal abnormalities and mucosal abnormalities and the malignancies in the older patients so these are the investigations of that patient now how you will manage simply the management is according to the cause of that patient so management of the functional dyspepsia what is the management how you will manage if it is due to the psychiatric disorder so you will give the psychiatric anti-psychiatric drugs psychiatric drugs then if the patient uh, is having uh, you can say functional dyspepsia that may be due to the increased acid production so you can give the anti-acids then you can also give the prokinetics 
प्रोकैनेटिक्स बेसिकली व्हाट आर देयर मींस व्हाई वी आर गिविंग प्रोकैनेटिक्स प्रोकैनेटिक्स आर गिवन बिकॉज दे इंक्रीज और स्ट्रेंथ इन द लोअर इसोफेजल स्फिंटर टोन एंड दे आल्सो इंक्रीज यू कैन से दे फास्ट इन द गैस्ट्रिक एंक्रीज एज देयर नेम इज इंडिकेटिंग दैट दे आर प्रोकैनेटिक्स मींस दे इंक्रीज द मींस फास्टिंग द ग्लूक द एम्पटिंग ऑफ द स्टमक सो द एम्पटिंग ऑफ द स्टमक इज Means the rate is increased or fasting in by giving the prokinetics. Now, what are those prokinetics? We give the metoclopramide, and that is ten milligram, and we give we give it three times a day, three times per day. We can give metoclopramide, or we can also give the domperidone, which is also ten to twenty milligram. and it is given 3 times per day so this you can give and one thing is that in the younger patients while giving the metoclopramide it was seen that it was causing the tardive dyskinesia it is the extra uh, pyramidal manifestation may occur so this is not given nowadays the, the domperidone is mostly used in those patients then we can also give the h2 receptor antagonist in now in those patients h2 receptor antagonists you are giving those are complaining of the heartburn and they are complaining of the night pain so you can give the um, h2 antagonist then you can also give the tricyclic to the patients and that is amitriptyline to the patient so This is the management that the, if the anti-psychotic drugs you will give, anti-acid you can give. You can give the procanide, the pentoclopramide, or the domperidone that is mostly used. Then you can give the acid receptor antagonist and the tricyclics in uh, like the amitriptyline. So this is the basically the management of the functional dyspepsia. And uh, this was topic uh, important according to the clinical basis. That's why I thought to make a lecture on this. Thank you so much. If you have any confusion, any query, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you, Allah Hafiz.